To better understand the constitutional reforms in Italy, we're joined now from Milan by Valerio Onida, constitutionalist and president emeritus of the Italian Constitutional Court. Welcome to Euronews. Buongiorno. Why should Italians vote no? The reform will do nothing to improve the functioning of the institutions. It's been approved simply by a majority government, which is likely to weaken the sense of the constitution, which is the foundation of unity. The yes vote says people who are against reform want nothing in Italy to ever change. What do you say? Change for the sake of change is a weak argument. One needs to know what will change, how and in which direction. It's not just about hostility to change. The constitutional terrain is fragile and change must be managed very, very carefully. You've gone to court to denounce the formulation of the referendum question itself, that it would not protect the freedom of the electorate. The appeal was rejected. Were you wrong? Qual è la conclusione? Valerio Nida aveva torto? Well, according to the judges, I'm wrong. But what's the real problem? A difficulty has been raised, the referendum question, which calls for a yes or no vote, to a law which contains different arguments. It creates a situation which undermines the freedom of the voter. That's why I asked the opinion of the Constitutional Court. The judges have so far refused to consult the Constitutional Court. The reform proposes to change the chapter on local and regional governments. The regional legislative power is reduced. Is that necessary? Is Italy centralizing power? This is the worst part of the reform because it adopts a centralizing tendency. Ultimately, it removes the legislative autonomy of the regions. You denounce that aspect of the reforms, that the government gets too much power. The Yes faction says that all over Europe. Even though we've got differences, governments are elected in order to be stable and strong and enjoy strong support. Why should we be afraid for this in Italy? We must distinguish between governments that have a large majority and governments that are based on personality, which provides a head of government. The German government, which appears stable and strong, is a coalition between different parties. I believe this would be the best form of government for Italy at the moment. On the other hand, the reforms will act in favour of minorities. They will help a minority to become a majority in Parliament, and that is not good. If no wins, what's going to happen in Italy and in Europe since the referendum has got international implications? In Italy, nothing will happen. There'll be no disaster, and I don't see anything happening in Europe. Europe's watching us, but the result will have no international impact on Italy. I repeat, nothing will happen. Politics will continue to do its job. It is politics that must answer the questions posed by the international community. Grazie, grazie Valerio Onida per aver risposto alle domande di Euronews.